Today's flashback movie is a remake of a classic movie that is Sabrina from 1995. We're going to look a little at the background of the movie, what it's about and who the stars were. As ever, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. That would be great. Sabrina was released in December 1995 by Constellation Entertainment with a running time of just over two hours. It was nominated for two Oscars in the Best Original Song and Best Music categories. The story comes from the earlier screenplay written by Billy Wilder and Ernest Lehman, which in turn was adapted from a play by Samuel L. Taylor. The movie itself was directed by the great Sidney Pollock. Filming was done in Long Island, New York, with a healthy budget of $58 million. But the return on the investment was a disappointment, with the worldwide gross only reaching just over $53 million. Oh dear. Sabrina Fairchild is a chauffeur's daughter, who grew up with the wealthy Larrabee family. She always had unreciprocated feelings for David, the family's younger son and playboy. But after returning from Paris, Sabrina has become a glamorous woman who gets David's attention. His older work-minded brother Linus thinks their courtship is bad for the family business and tries to break them up. But then he starts to fall for her too. Now I don't usually watch romantic movies that often and to be honest I'm not really a fan of them either. But I really enjoyed this as it's a really well made and well written movie. Things like the music and the setting are what set it apart, I think. The acting was pretty good, and I kind of like the story too. Overall, I think this is a great film to watch, and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Harrison Ford portrays the workaholic Linus Larrabee, who runs the Larrabee Corporation with his mother. Ford was born in Chicago, Illinois, back in 1942, but now lives on a sprawling ranch in Jackson, Wyoming with his third wife, Calista Flockhart. Obviously best known for his roles as Indiana Jones and Han Solo in Star Wars, Ford was discovered by George Lucas while working as a $150 a week jobbing actor and carpenter going on to appear in 1973's American Graffiti as a result. He has since amassed a personal fortune of around $300 million, and if I had that much money by his age, I would probably be retired. But then again, when your hobby is collecting and flying aircraft, you possibly need all the money you can get your hands on. Born in Epsom in the United Kingdom in 1965, Julia Karen Ormond portrayed the role of the heroine of the piece, Sabrina Fairchild, the young daughter of the Larrabee's family chauffeur. After graduating from the Webber Douglas Academy of Dramatic Art in 1988, Julia appeared on British TV in 1989's Traffic, playing the drug-addicted daughter of the lead character. She made her movie debut in 1993, and the following year co-starred in Legends of the Fall with Brad Pitt. She also played Queen Guinevere in First Night, the same year that she starred in Sabrina. In addition to that, she's also starred in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and My Week with Marilyn. On the small screen, she's appeared in Law and Order Criminal Intent and Mad Men as Marie Calais. Most recently, you can see her as Elizabeth Kublek in The Walking Dead World Beyond. Currently living in Malibu, California, Julia was married to actor Rory Edwards from 1988 to 1994. In 1999, she married political activist John Rubin, and they had a daughter before their divorce in 2008. Born in Bristol, Pennsylvania in 1963, Lauren Holly was raised in Geneva, New York, and played the part of David's fiancée, doctor and billionaire Elizabeth Tyson. Holly's acting career began at the age of 20, when she appeared as Carla Walicki in two episodes of Hill Street Blues. Amongst her biggest movie roles, she has played Mary Swanson in Dumb and Dumber, Linda Lee in Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story, and Gigi in What Women Want. 
On the small screen, Lauren is best known as Deputy Sheriff Maxine Stewart in Picket Fences, director Jenny Shepard in the series NCIS, and Dr. Betty Rogers in Motive. More recently, she's appeared as Joan in the TV series Family Law. Lauren currently lives in Ontario, Canada, and although now single, has been married three times and has three adopted children. Gregory Buck Kinnear was born in Logansport, Indiana in 1963, and played the part of Linus's playboy brother, David Larrabee. Kinnear's first job was at Empire Pictures, where he started in the marketing department. After that, he became the host of a couple of talk shows, Talk Soup, and later with Greg Kinnear, before making his movie debut in Blank Man, which preceded his role as David Larrabee. Other movies to have featured Kinnear are As Good As It Gets, You've Got Mail, and Little Miss Sunshine. On the small screen, he has appeared as Jack Kennedy in The Kennedys, Keegan Dean in Rake, as well as Bill Shepard in House of Cards, and most recently, Glenn Bateman in The Stand. Currently residing in Indiana, Kinnear has been married to British ex-glamour model Helen Labden since 1999, and they have three daughters together. Born in Culm, North Dakota in 1931, Angeline Dickinson played the part of David's prospective mother-in-law, Ingrid Tyson. Angie began her career on television, appearing in many anthologies during the 1950s, before gaining her breakthrough role in Gun the Man Down with James Arnus, and as Feathers in the Western Rio Bravo in 1959, for which she received the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. On the small screen, she's perhaps best known for her role as Sergeant Pepper Anderson in the NBC crime series Police Woman from 1974 to 1978. Angie's most memorable movies include Big Bad Mama, Point Blank and Dress to Kill. Dickinson was married to former football player Gene Dickinson from 1952 to 1960 and kept his name after the divorce. She then married Bert Bacharach in 1965 and they were together for 15 years. Angie and Bert had a daughter called Nikki, who was born three months premature, and as a result suffered from chronic health problems. So much so that she spent nine years in a residential treatment facility. Sadly, at the age of 40, Nikki committed suicide at her apartment in Ventura County. Richard Donald Krenner was born in Los Angeles, California in 1926, and betrayed Elizabeth's father and the owner of Tyson Electronics, Patrick Tyson. Krenner got his acting start on radio as high school student Walter Denton in the CBS series Our Miss Brooks, and he stayed when it moved on to the small screen in 1952. But Krenner's best remembered movie role is as John Rambo's ex-commanding officer, Colonel Sam Troutman, in the first three Rambo films, and he went on to spoof the character in Hot Shots Part Dieu in 1993. Later on in his career, Krenner went on to play Ronald Reagan in the TV movie The Day Reagan Was Shot and appeared as Jared Duff in Judging Amy. He was married to Joan Grisham from 1950 to 1955 and Hannah Smith from 1957 until he died from heart failure after developing pancreatic cancer in 2003. Born in Buffalo, New York in 1928, Nancy Lou Marchand portrayed family matriarch Maud Larrabee. Nancy began her acting career on the stage and had appeared in such movies as Naked Gun, Dear God and From the Hip. However, she was without doubt best known for her two main TV roles, that of patrician newspaper publisher Margaret Pynchon on Lou Grant, for which she won four Emmy Awards as Best Supporting Actress in a Dramatic Series, and later as matriarch Livia Soprano, mother of Tony Soprano on the HBO series The Sopranos, which earned her a Golden Globe Award for the best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a series, miniseries or motion picture made for television. It also won her a Screen Actors Guild Award for outstanding performance by an ensemble in a drama series. Nancy had been married to fellow actor Paul Sparer since 1951, but he died from cancer in 1999. Nancy herself suffered from both lung cancer and emphysema and died in 2000, a day before her 72nd birthday. 
John Lamin Wood was born in Derbyshire, England, and played the role of Larrabee's faithful chauffeur, Thomas Fairchild. Predominantly a stage actor with something of a superiority complex, Wood featured in a number of movies during the 80s, including War Games, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Lady Hawk, and Jumping Jack Flash. And although he has worked extensively on the small screen, there have been his small supporting roles in the likes of Foyle's War, Lewis, and Goodbye Mr. Chips on British television. Wood had been married to his second wife, Sylvia Vaughan, since 1957, and they had three children together. He died of natural causes in 2011. Born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1941, Dana Robbins Ivy portrayed Linus's personal assistant or secretary, Mac. Before making New York City her home in the late 1970s, Ivy appeared in numerous American and Canadian stage productions and served as director of Drama Tech in Atlanta from 1974 to 1977. Her first movie appearance was in 1985 science fiction fantasy Explorers with Ethan Hawke and River Phoenix. Her first major screen appearance was in Steven Spielberg's adaptation of Alice Walker's The Colour Purple later that same year. Among her other movie credits are Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Postcards from the Edge, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, The Addams Family and Addams Family Values. On the small screen she's enjoyed roles in the likes of Boardwalk Empire, Sex and the City and Law and Order. Dana currently lives in New York and is still active in the industry. Fanny Ardent was born in Maine-et-Loire, France in 1949 and played the Vogue editor Irene. Fanny was actually raised in Monte Carlo and was educated at a convent school. She turned her attention to acting in her early 20s and made her stage debut in 1974. By the early 1980s, Ardent was a major movie star, gaining international recognition for her role opposite Gérard Depardieu in The Woman Next Door. Fluent in English and Italian, Fanny has starred in several Hollywood and British films, with her most recent being Callas Forever, in which she portrayed opera diva Maria Callas. Obviously, the larger part of Fanny's success has been in her home country of France, where she has won a number of awards for her performances. While working with Francois Truffaut, he and Fanny fell in love, and in 1983 she gave birth to their daughter Josephine. Truffaut died a year later from a brain tumour. She also has two other daughters. Now Fanny was not the only French actress to work on the movie. Actress, screenwriter, director and singer Valérie Anne-Marie Le Mercier was born in Dieppe in 1964 and played the part of the bossy Martine. Valérie made her screen debut in 1988 in the television series Palace and she has won two César awards for her sporting roles in 1993's Les Visiteurs and Forte d'Orchestra in 2007. I'm pretty sure I murdered the names of both of those movies, but hey, I don't speak French, so what can you do? Anyway, Valerie has gone on to become a successful director, as well as releasing her first music album in 1996, and subsequently recording three singles with other artists. Born in New Haven, Connecticut in 1967, Paul Edward Valentine Giamatti played the role of Scott. Paul first garnered attention for his breakout role in 1997's Private Parts as Kenny Pigvomit Rushton, which led to him playing more supporting roles such as Sergeant William Hill in Saving Private Ryan, John Maxwell in Big Mama's House, and Marty Wolf in Big Fat Liar. In 2003, Giamatti began to earn critical acclaim following his lead role in the movie American Splendor, and has gone on to appear in the likes of Cinderella Man and Twelve Years a Slave. On the small screen, he has starred in the title role of John Adams in 2008, but more recently, he spent five years playing Chuck Rhodes in the TV series Billions. Giamatti currently lives in Brooklyn Heights, and he married his wife Elizabeth in 1997. Born in Puerto Rico in 1936, Miriam Colon played the part of housekeeper Rosa. Miriam made her acting debut in 1953 in a movie produced in her home country of Puerto Rico. However, she has also appeared in English-speaking movies including her best-known roles as Mama Montana in Scarface, 
Mercedes in Goal and its sequel Goal 2, Living the Dream. On the small screen, she played the part of Cam's grandma in How to Make It in America in 2010. Miriam was married to George Paul Edgar from 1966 until his death in 1976. She married her second husband, Fred Vail, in 1987, and they lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, until she died in New York of complications from a pulmonary infection in 2017. 